the 17th overall selection, the Oshawa Generals are proud to select Brady Smith, North York Rangers. Well, I think with Brady, um, he, he's a very dynamic player, and, and like you said, he, he's skilled. He, he will have the ability to be a game breaker, but uh, um, he's just got to get, like most players, consistent with uh, with his work ethic and his uh, uh, you know habits as he goes through, and that, that'll be the coach's responsibility to do that. But when you look at him, he's a game breaker. He's a goal scorer, like you said, um, and you can't ever really have too many of those guys um i i i, I expect him to score right away I, I think he's got that uh he's coming off a real good under 17 camp too so i i think when we had the opportunity to get him with the amount of returning d we had and and you know another forwards returning that hey if we can get a guy that can be a goal scorer he could uh, you know substitute all, all over your lineup and and I think he'll be that guy that you you may you may have even not noticed him, but all of a sudden he's got two goals and two assists, or he's or he's done or he scored the game winner or or something. But I mean, it's never my intention to put too much pressure on these kids either. Too, it's he's gonna have bad days, but I really think with his ability, with his confidence, uh, I saw him a couple weeks ago. He's a little bit bigger now too, so very excited to have him. Uh, and, and can't wait for him to you know join up with our team where we're at. With the 38th overall pick, Brooks will stop Wozowski, Detroit Catholic Central. Well, in fairness to Maddox Reichel, he's the guy that watched him right from the start of the year, and <clears throat> you know he kept bringing his name up, he kept pounding the table and saying you know he really liked what he played, how he played, and uh, you know he's a big body that can skate, and then you know seeing more as the season goes on and you know watch a video etc and again Maddox never wavered off you know his opinion and that's that's encouraging when you see someone you know and, and that's the challenge for you know these guys sometimes you see a guy and he's great and then the next week you see him he's not great so not that uh, Brooks never had, had have never has or, or has bad games but Maddox was very consistent in how he played how his reports were and uh, we like his size, and again, like I said, we like his skating ability. I, I think he's going to have a bit of touch around the net too. So I, I think to, you know, some people maybe say we stepped up, and I would just say we took the player that we wanted at that spot. Yeah. The Oshawa Generals are proud to select Brady Plastic, Ottawa Myers Otto. Uh, we like him. I mean, we we saw. With, with Ottawa kind of coming back into the fold, it was easier to see these guys, which which certainly helps. So uh, the first time I saw him, I think it was the Peterborough tournament. Um, our guys watched him a fair bit, but I, I liked, uh, you know, he, he's tall, he's long, he's got a long stick, can skate, can, can play a physical game. He's kind of a, a guy that really should fit in, you know, with our defense, uh, you know, with with all his, his same attributes. Uh, like I said, he, he's tall, he's got a long stick, can snuff out plays, um, can move the puck as well, and he's got good feet for a big man. So er everything that we saw about him, he had le he has leadership abilities too, which is something that was important. Um, so when when we did get a chance to get him, uh, it was a no-brainer for us to, to certainly take him in the third. And, well, I think with him, you know, you, know, you see a guy that is, is hard to play against. And uh, you know he, he's always talking on the ice. He's always yeah. He's always in people's ears, but he, he's got skill too. Um, he's a strong, you know. He, he's got a real strong, well put together body, and you know he can handle the rigors of of the OHL. And uh, with, with him, that's you know coming from a team like the Marlies with with some you know some of the players they had. He 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 made a lot of those guys better and uh, made them look better by his style of play and uh, and that's what certainly caught our eye and again he was a guy he didn't really change like you know he didn't he didn't start out or, or, or end differently he, he kind of was the same all the way through and that consistency was one thing that we we really liked but uh, his ability you know I, I think it's overused that, that 200 foot game type of thing um, we like that about him but but again it's his his ability to get people to, to not like playing against them. And, and that was something that was really important uh, for us. And I think getting uh, Jalen in the six was a, was a great pick by our guys. And 
certainly if the development camp impact was anything to go by, I, I think he's going to have a great future here. He's, he, again, he's another guy that can ski. He's got skills. He can use the forehand, backhand. He, he can make plays with the, with good players and, or, or he, I, I really believe at some point he can drive the line too. Like he doesn't have to just be a compliment guy. He can drive a line. So, um, you know, I did mention earlier that him and uh, Brady played together on the line with, uh, uh, during camp and, and, they were they were awesome, which you, you kind of expect them to be. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a credit to our scouts to, to be able to get them there. And then uh, you know it's up to to Jill and, and all these kids that once they get here, then they've got to really make an impact. I'd like to use the term reasonable expectation. So there's a reasonable expectation that those guys will be better than they were last year, which, which is encouraging. They they got their their freebies with the. You know, maybe coaches cutting them a little bit more slack. So this year, you know, we're, we're looking to, you know, we're starting to look to those guys to make uh, our team better. And uh, and I really believe that that they will. They're they're going to take a step. And then you know, you've got your 18, 19, 20 year old guys that are that are you know really cruising. And, and we want those guys to be pushing all of our players. So that's that's what's. Uh, the exciting part about training camp and exhibition.